no losses, with all 24 of his wins coming by way of a knockout. From Tuscaloosa, Alabama, let's welcome the 2008 United States Olympic bronze medalist, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Oh, here, All right, you've had your instructions downstairs. Punch is here, remember, are fine. Both your trunks a little high. Shake hands and good luck to both of you. Well, as, you had, uh, as we had said to during, the, uh, during the break, don't blink if you are a Deontay Wilder fan. 14 of his 24 fights have ended in the first round. Only... Four times has he even gotten close to the fourth round. Yeah, I believe only two opponents have made it uh, to the fourth round even. And I was actually ringside as a boxing writer for both of those fights. And they were against uh, short, cagey guys. Uh, McCreary is definitely short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see how cagey he is. These are the, the two opposite extremes of the heavyweight division. Absolutely. You can't get any more athletic than Deontay Wilder, who he says was born to be an athlete. He played football, played basketball as a young man. From the age of five, he says, he knew he was going to be an athlete. Um, unfortunately, there was a little detour in his uh, career. He had a, a daughter who was born with a uh, spinal cord uh, illness, and uh, he had to quit college. That's when he found boxing. First time he walked in there, he said, I just loved everything in the boxing ring, and here we have him today. And he advanced very quickly in the amateur ranks. He actually made the U.S. Olympic squad for 2004 with under 25 bouts. He won the National Golden Gloves. He won a, a U.S. Amateur Championship. And he surprised everybody by actually winning the Olympic trials. And each one of those amateur victories was a huge upset. So there's been a lot of eyeballs on him ever since he turned pro. Yeah, he's 6'7", uh, by the way. He's got, uh, obviously, height. He's got advantage, uh, reach advantage, I should say. Uh, McCreary is uh, 39 years old and only 5'11", so quite a discrepancy when it comes to uh, physical attributes or characteristics. McCreary is not a heavyweight. I've actually seen McCreary fight before. He was a, a very good super middleweight prospect yeah. five or six oh. years ago. Doesn't Down belong goes. in the ring as a heavyweight, and, nope. and Deontay's looking to get him out of there. That was a quick one-two that put McCreary down. Uh, I don't think McCreary has the uh, the look of a fighter that's going to stay in there too long. So uh, uh, pay close attention. Don't look away. This could be uh, the end coming coming up very soon. You know, I do not think that was a knockdown. I saw a, a, a one a one-two combination land and, and McCreary go down, but I don't believe uh, referee Raul didn't like Pais. that, however. Yeah. He, he, even <laughs> under those circumstances, he was uh, making uh, 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 gestures like uh, he was not comfortable with that situation. And this style that McCreary has, where he's kind of languishing on the outside and trying to surprise him right. with uh, single power shots, kind of leaping in with, with left hooks and, and, and right crosses, that worked five years ago and a hundred pounds ago, but it's, you know, the weight that he's carrying now, he just can't. Uh, he, oh, wow, Caiz is not counting this as a knockdown. That either. was a phantom punch, if I've ever seen one. Uh, I, I think it was more his chest hitting uh, maybe the, the face of McCreary. And McCreary, I think he's going to say that his, uh, his, his right knee hurts. I see it's bandaged up. But you know, at this weight, when he throws, he throws himself off balance. Yeah, that's uh, that, that that's uh, a lot of weight. Uh, McCreary is uh, is carrying around, as you said, in 2008, when Wilder won his Olympic medal. McCreary was 80 pounds lighter than he is in his pro debut at 166. And there we see a little bit of Wilder's punching power. Shove down. I thought a, a one-two combination landed, but it, it actually missed. McCreary lunged in, and uh, Wilder gave him a little shove with his lead hand. And here, round two, McCreary tried wow. to throw a little he bit of Wow, he got a right hand still. in there. Yeah, he got that right in there. 
but back comes Wilder with a punch of his own, and there goes McCree back down to the canvas. And here is a real knockdown. And I've seen this in the past, when a fighter gets a good shot at Wilder, he usually... Referee interference right there, by the way. <laughs> he usually nope. pays the opponent back in kind. Uh. Yeah, McCreary just uh, kind of puts his head down and, and throws some punches in an uh, upward direction. Oh, on the way down, he nailed him. And Raul Caiz Sr. Right. Is, is... I don't know if he saw that. Well, he saw something. Already, well, he was already down when a Wilder threw one final punch. I think on his way down, Wilder landed a shot sort of to the back of the head, but uh, I think Kai Sr. does not think that McCreary can uh, continue. No, and, and Wilder finally breaking that uh, that game face, that poker face, we finally see a, a, a slight smile on his face now, just kind of wondering what happened. Wondering if McCreary hurt him at all with that uh, right cross that he landed. It was pretty obvious from the onset that uh, McCreary was not going to last in this contest. Uh, McCreary, the Bulldog, is uh, very unhappy right now. I guess he wanted the option of trying to make it to his feet, wanted to count. Plenty of uh, medical supervision in the ring right now. Uh, it seems to me there's something wrong with the uh, left leg of Damon McCreary. You see it's bandaged up. The, the left knee yeah, is bandaged right. up. All right, let, let's see that uh, that late punch. All right, here is the, I want to see the oh, right that, hand. That's that a little bit of a headbutt okay. right there. So McCreary charging in and really just getting nailed by uh, Wilder. Falling hard on his knees. So the, the right hand that, that seemed to buzz Wilder really landed to the neck. But Wilder came right back with the left, right, and then another left. And then uh, here come the uh, finishing touches. McCreary is quick to get up from the second knockdown. I can understand why he would be a little bit upset that the, the second knockdown was waved off the fight without a count. All right, well, we're going to have a chance to talk to him uh, for right now. Let's see exactly when this fight ended. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends at 55 seconds of round number two. Referee Raul Kai Sr. stops this bout for your winner by knockout and still undefeated, Deontay the Bronze Bummer, Wilder. All right, Will, uh, we didn't get a chance to see the final, uh, the final knockdown. But we got to see why people are excited about Deontay Wilder's that athleticism, the speed, the power, putting the punches together. And I think we're going to see a replay of the final knockdown here. It's timing McCreary with a left hook. There's landed one, that there. right, sort of to He's the back, and then he caught him with a short inside right that put McCreary down on his side. For good. And I think the way that McCreary was covered up, that sort of uh, prompted uh, referee Raul Caiz to, to wave it off. We're going to step aside for a second. We'll talk to Wilder when we come back. County Fairgrounds and uh, Deontay Wilder had left the uh, the ring momentarily we got him back I don't know if he's using a little intimidation he just stepped over the top rope to uh, join Doug Fisher with him right now Doug take it away thank you Mario I'm with Deontay Wilder undefeated heavyweight prospect you are now 25 and 0 with 25 knockouts I believe that was your 16th first round knockouts can you walk us through this fight and tell us what happened against Damon McCreary well what happened with Damon you know um, you know even though he's coming up in heavyweight you know I had welcomed, them, welcomed him to the heavyweight division. You know, I'm one of the hardest hitting heavyweights in the division, man. And um, I just had to give him uh, a little welcome present. You know, we, we knew he was going to try to come out fast and, and try to get in my mindset with all the hooping and hollering and, and jumping and stuff. But, you know, I'm not the same fighter that I, that I was when I first came in. I'm a much calmer fighter. If you come in with me, the, your whole mindset better be ready to come and destroy me and, and just do me up. I'm a fighter, man. I love to do this. I love to crush bones and spill blood, you know. I love to make your eyes swell and your lips um, quiver, you know. So um, 
Yeah, basically he just tried to come in and uh, just intimidate me, but you can't intimidate the bronze bomber, baby. McCreary is uh, a guy who's coming way up in weight, but he is that kind of uh, cagey personality. Did not get in your head at all, uh, but it did look like uh, maybe a minute into the fight, he landed like a right hand, maybe to your neck or your ear. Were you hurt at any time, or did he bother you physically at all? He, he did as well. He did land. Um, I wasn't hurt at all. You know, uh, uh, just wanted to show the people that you know I can I can take a punch as well too. Well, basically, he made me mad for a little bit, but I came back down, and that's why I throw the a, a flurry of punches. And, um, and came back, but this it, is a part of the sport. You, um, the people who come to see entertainment, they come to see excitement, and um, that's what Deontay Wilder brings. I bring excitement, man. That's why I'm telling the Klitschko, do not retire. Don't retire, baby, because we got a new heavyweight in town. His name Deontay Wilder. I told you before, and I'm going to keep telling you again. Don't retire, baby.